Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to a new episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'm gonna attempt to make the viral cloud bread. Now, if you guys have been watching this series for a while, you know that in this series, I try a bunch of different things. I started off with makeup products, skincare, and then I kind of ventured outside that bubble with some crafty videos, even some exercise challenges, and some viral recipes. So what seems to be trending at the moment is this cloud bread recipe. It's all over YouTube and TikTok. So let me know if you guys have been seeing it on your feed. Basically what it is, is this super fluffy cloud-like bread. In a lot of videos, people will just open it up and it looks so fluffy, it looks so light, almost like marshmallowy texture. And so I'm gonna be trying to make that today. Now I'm actually gonna follow Emmy Made in Japan's recipe. She has one up on cloud bread and it has like one and a half million views and she only posted a month ago so it must be a really good recipe generally her videos are pretty easy to follow because she's really clear and she's got all her measurements there so i like watching her channel so for this whole recipe i only need like three ingredients cornstarch sugar egg whites and the fourth one is optional it's blue food coloring why did i put all fingers up it's supposed to be like that yes four ingredients Okay, so I think I've hit my first hurdle guys. I needed cornstarch. I literally thought I had some in the pantry, but I actually have corn flour instead. And to my surprise, they are not the same. However, Google kind of saved the day. Potato starch can also be a substitute for cornstarch. So I'm going to use potato starch in my recipe. Fingers crossed this works. I need 10 grams of this, so 30 grams of sugar. Next, I'm going to separate three egg whites. I have this really cute egg white separator that Alfred got. I think he got it after watching, is it Cooking by Nino? I don't know, but he had one and so Alfred was like, we need one of those. So how this little guy works is that it separates the egg whites for you. So you just pour it out and look at him vomit all that egg white. Ooh, it's very gluggy. Ah, ah! What a fail. That's such a fail. Uh, cook that egg. Okay, let's just empty that in there. Okay, that was a fail. I'm going again. I'm giving a little ducky guy. No, he's not a duck. He's a chicken. Is he a chicken? He's a chicken, right? I'm giving him another chance. I'm not going to shake it this time. Steady. Oh, there's an egg. Is that an eggshell? Alfred said, don't shake it. But if I don't shake it, it's just gonna hang here. I still see lots of egg whites in it. I don't think this guy's very efficient. And then just repeat that two more times. Now it's time to beat the egg whites. I'm going to beat it until it's a little bit frothy and then slowly add in the dry ingredients, starting with the sugar first. So let's do that. I'm gonna be using uh, this hand whisker thing. Connie gave this to me, so it's my first time using it, but it should do the job much better than doing it like manually, right? Okay, it's looking kind of frothy now. So the dry ingredients are all combined. I'm going to continue to beat the mixture until there's stiff peaks. Okay, I think, I think this is enough. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to add the food coloring in. Okay, I've got my food coloring. I'm gonna add like a tiny bit of this. Okay. 
So I'm pretty sure the mixture is done. She said that if you lift the bowl over your head and obviously nothing falls out, then it's the right consistency. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good enough. Oh my God, thank God nothing dropped on my head. Now we're ready to line our tray with some baking paper. All right, now I'm just going to plop my mixture onto the tray. Oh, this ball is so heavy. Now I'm just going to kind of like shape it. Okay, mine's going to be like a dome shape. Ta-da! This is my blue masterpiece. I'm going to pop it in the oven for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, my cloud bread is done. It's actually deflating because I took so long to set up the camera, but it was poofier than this. It's actually getting, it's getting some wrinkles, but it's definitely done. I'm gonna peel it off the paper. Now for the moment of truth. Let's tear it apart. Whoa. Oh, it's still like steaming hot. Check that out. It is fluffy. What does it taste like? It's so plain. <laughs> it tastes eggy, like like kind of like a pancake mixture. I feel like I'm eating egg flavored cotton candy. Like it kind of just disappears and like melts in my mouth. It's like a lighter version of like a, a chiffon cake, I guess. I feel like I like the outside more. Mm. But if you look really closely, you can see the texture of this. It's literally like a cloud. See when I rip it? It still holds like its texture. It's almost sponge-like, you know what I mean? You can see all like the little holes. The outside is just sticking to my fingers. Hmm. I kind of feel like it looks way better than it actually tastes. It's kind of like plain, like it's almost flavorless besides that hint of egg. But yeah, maybe I should have added some like flavoring to it because I mean, it's kind of a letdown to be honest. I say that, but I can't stop eating it. There's just something about the texture. Do you guys want a bite? <laughs> I'm gonna save this half for Alfred. But yeah, I feel like cloud bread, making it was a success. Eating it, however, it just doesn't, doesn't have that wow factor. You know how Dalgona coffee has that wow factor? Like when you taste it, you're like, hmm, I can't believe I made this. But this, when I look at it, I'm like, ooh, I can't believe I made it. But when I taste it, I'm like, is that it? Let me know if you guys have tried making your own cloud bread. Did you like how it tasted? Did it look good? I think that's gonna be the first and last time I'm gonna make cloud bread. I'm just not impressed with how it tastes. It's more of just like a little gimmick, you know what I mean? I definitely wouldn't crave for it, let's just say. I guess that is it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new here and remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads. That is it for me, guys. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Ooh, so sticky. So, so sticky. I need to wash my hands.
算你。